Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going over a brand new foundation from By Cherry. I have here the new Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation SPF 30. If you're familiar with my channel at all, you know how much I love the Hyaluronic Hydra Tinted Powder. That one is just like a holy grail status for me. I love the Hydra Primer. In general, I feel like By Terry does such an amazing job with their line. There's so many products that I truly love. So this is, again, it was just a done deal. I'm gonna show you guys an all day wear test. I'm gonna show you two different application methods, one with a sponge, one with a brush, and I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts at the end of the video first we have to get into the information. And I wanna start off with the bottle. The bottle is so beautiful. There's just something that I really like about it. It's really nice in your hands, just holding it, it feels nice. I like the shape of it, like the teardrop, almost kind of pear shape. It's frosted glass, and then you have a dropper style applicator. This is what it looks like right here. And on the inside, like, let me squeeze out that excess. On the inside, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it. I don't wanna dump it out because it is new, but there's like a cage almost. I'm not sure if that is to help prevent product from coming out or to just kind of secure the dropper. Either way, it's just something that I noticed. This retails for $59 and you're getting the standard 30 mils of product. I got mine on the By Terry website. According to the By Terry website, this is a hydrating foundation. It perfects and hydrates the skin, buildable coverage infused with hyaluronic acid, protects with SPF 30, and it's long wear and vegan. It's suitable for all skin types, but it's particularly good for dry skin. The finish is matte and luminous, and then a special skin fit technology controls shine and makes the formula lightweight and long wear while delivering a comfort of second skin. There's three different undertones in this foundation, C for cool, like rosy pink, N for neutral, and then W for warm golden olive. The shade that I grabbed is 200N, which would be a light medium neutral undertone. Before I get into the demonstration, I wanna tell you guys that on the website it says to make sure you shake this well. So before I put this on, I shook it up really well, but then it also has application tips. Now it suggests to apply with the fingertips or a foundation brush but <laughs> there's three different videos that you can click on to see how to achieve a light coverage, a medium coverage, and then a full coverage. For light coverage, you wanna use two drops and then it's showing in the video using your fingers and then use four drops for medium coverage and they're using a sponge. I actually got a sponge with my order and I have lost it. I don't know where it is. I wanted to show it to you guys whenever I was using the foundation, but yeah, it's MIA. I'm sure I will find it as soon as this video is over. But anywho, <laughs> what I found interesting is the fact that they sent that sponge, which is free. I believe it was like a gift with purchase type of deal, but it says use six drops to achieve full coverage. And in that video, they're using the sponge that I was sent. So it says application tips, fingers or brush, but obviously you can use a sponge as well. I'm first gonna show you guys how it applies with a sponge, and then I will show you how I put it on today with a brush. Getting into the demo, and this is the wear test as well, I use my Sonia Kashuk sponge. I ended up putting nine drops on my Petri dish, mainly because I knew that I needed to go down my neck and behind my ears. That is one reason why I tend to go through foundations just a little bit quicker. With no hair, <laughs> you have to make sure that everything is even. So I go down the center of my neck, I go back here and then I go kind of around my ears and then right on the tops of my ears as well, just to make sure that I'm not walking around with a really distinct line. Even if the shade is perfect for me, they're still different in texture and all that. So that is the reason why I added three extra drops so that I could go all around that area. I pick it up with my sponge and I'm applying it to my skin. I do not have any primers on the perimeter of my face, but as always, I am wearing my MAC Skin Refine Zone on my pores as well as my Milk Makeup Blur Stick because I am combo. I tend to get a little oily in my T-zone and I like to just have this area mattified and as smooth as possible, but the rest of my face, there is nothing on it. And I feel like this spreads out really nicely with the sponge. I got great coverage. I even have a little red acne bump on my nose and it covered it up perfectly. After I finished everything off, before I went in with my powder, you can see that everything looks really smooth. It's a kind of natural, slightly luminous finish, 
before I powder. Now I want to let you guys know for my powder, I did not bake. I did not use like my, uh, my typical Huda powder or anything like that. I used underneath my eyes. I used the Becca under eye brightening powder and then the Hydra powder from by Terry to set everything. And then I just finished off my makeup and this is what it looks like. With my makeup finished, I feel like everything looks really smooth. I feel like my pores look smooth. Everything just looks really nice. I love that this foundation did not grab onto the dry areas of my face. Like the spot on my nose where I have the acne bump, it's kind of a scab and it didn't end up grabbing onto that. And then I have a little bit of a breakout on this side of my mouth and it didn't grab onto that either. So I was really impressed with it. However, I will say that after I did my powder, I'm feeling a little dry, not dry, dry. I don't feel heavy or cakey or anything like that, but I feel like it's just slightly dry. I really wanted to spray my face with some type of finishing spray, but I resisted the urge and just went along with the rest of the day. Now this is six hours and I gotta tell you, I'm feeling way more dry. I'm feeling a little tight actually, but the makeup is still looking really good. I mean, you really can't see a difference between when I first applied it to six hours later. My only complaint is that I'm feeling a little more dry. It's just kind of, just kind of tight. And I'm starting to get kind of itchy and I didn't know, again, if that is because I was feeling dry or if I'm having some kind of reaction to something, but I'm feeling itchy and I was kind of starting to get on my nerves. But the makeup looks great nonetheless. Now let's get into 10 hours. This stuff still looks flawless. This is, it looks so, so nice. The only things that have happened is I've gotten a tiny, tiny bit of shine right on my pore area, but I mean, it is minuscule. Usually I will get more shine than this at six hours, but it's very, very minimal. And then on my smile line and my upper lip, it is looking, my upper lip is looking a little dry. And then my smile line has somewhere, but honestly, for 10 hours, it's, that's very minimal in my opinion. It didn't really crack or anything. It just, you can see the smile line, it's visible, but it didn't break apart. So I'm happy with that. But at 10 hours, I couldn't take it anymore. I wanted to claw my face off. I was getting to the point that I was going to start touching my face and start itching. And I have it on right now. I'm telling you, my nose is itching me. I don't like it. I'm ready to take it off. And it's just a, I, it's just something that is reacting with my skin. And I know it's a reaction instead of just my skin feeling dry because when I woke up this morning, my skin, like the texture of it had changed just a little bit. There has to be an ingredient in here that my skin does not like. Oh, I just felt a little bit more dry this morning. And then when I went to apply the foundation again today, it stung a little bit. So I don't know what it is. I'm not an ingredient expert. I have a few things that I know that don't work well for me but I don't know what it is in this foundation. Getting into how I applied it today, I used my favorite foundation brush, which is the BK Beauty 106. But not only did I use a brush, I also put the By Terry Hydra Primer on one side of my face. I wanted to test the brush, but I also wanted to see if putting on a primer underneath this would help with that little bit of dry feeling. And I'll, I'll let you guys know later if it did or not. But I'm applying this. I used six drops. So you'll see I am taking six drops. I'm putting it onto my dish. In the demos, they showed it just being applied directly to the face from the dropper. And I'm just, I'm not doing that. I just, mm, I don't know. I, I just can't do that. So I applied the six drops to my dish. And then I picked it up with my brush and dotted it around. And then I started buffing it in. I will say that it was a little easier on this side to buff into the skin with the primer. I think the brush application definitely looks a little bit more natural. Like it kind of buffs into the skin, but it is less coverage, which was shocking to me because usually when I use a damp sponge, you are stamping it, but usually when I use a sponge because it's not damp, I get more coverage out of a, a brush and I use that stamping motion anyway to really make sure that the pore area is smooth. 
but I feel like I got more coverage right away with the sponge. Now with the six drops, <laughs> that did my face, <laughs> but it definitely did not go down my neck. So I needed to add the three more drops. I went down my neck and I also had to do another drop to go onto my nose because I just felt like with the brush, it wasn't covering, I don't think you can see it on camera as much as I could see in person. It wasn't covering up that spot on my nose as well with the brush. And I felt like I got a little bit more clingy when I had the brush going over top of that kind of scabby thing. I mean, it's, it's a little scab, so it's going to cling to anything that's a little drier. And without the added hydration, I felt like the brush just didn't give me the amount of coverage and it kind of grabbed at the edges of that scab. So I went in with an extra little drop and I picked up my sponge and applied it to my nose. I didn't do that anywhere else on my face. And now I'm gonna show you guys zoomed in. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but I feel like I can see it with the sponge. I feel like the finish was just a little bit more radiant. With the brush, I feel like it's a little bit more natural matte. I see a slight radiance to it, but it's a little bit more on the natural matte side. I do think that this side of my face is a little bit more hydrated, a little bit more smooth. And talking to you right now, I can tell you that this side of my face feels just a little bit drier than what this side does. However, it still feels just a little like kind of tight feeling to me. My thoughts on the foundation, I'm a little torn because I do think that it looks good, but I don't like the way that it feels on my skin. And given the fact that this is, you know, for all skin types, but especially for dry skin, the fact that my skin feels dry is a little bothersome, but you do have to keep in mind that there's something in this that's not reacting well to my skin. So my skin could be feeling dry because it's reacting to something in here. That might not be something that happens to you at all. Outside of that dry feeling and the sensitivity, I have to say, this is very long wearing. It looks really nice. It covers really well. I definitely agree that this is a buildable foundation. You can shear it out and you can build it up without it being cakey. I went straight in for the full coverage, obviously with the six drops, which ended up being a few more because yeah, I already told you but I feel like I got the coverage that I wanted straight out the gate. I didn't feel like I had to go in with any more other than when I used the brush, but I don't think I would have gone in with that extra amount had I not had the spot on my nose. I think it would have been just fine if I didn't have that little spot on my nose. So I think coverage wise, this is really, really great. I do feel like this is for all skin types, like it claims, but I don't know that I would say that it is most suitable for dry skin. I would say that if you want to use this and you are dry, I would make sure that you prime underneath. I really love the Hydra Primer. It's so good. And then maybe just don't powder. I'm combo. I like to powder. I like to make sure that my pores stay as immaculate as they possibly can. <laughs> but I do think that this would be a good one to not set. And I was actually going to do another test wearing this and just doing a powder on my pore area. However, I'm already itchy and I've only had it on for an hour now and I just think that there's something in here that's not agreeing with me and I don't want to make my skin overly sensitive. I don't know what it is, I'm gonna have to figure it out but I don't think that's going to be the case for everybody. Final thoughts, I think this is a beautiful foundation. I feel like it really blurs imperfections. It looks really great on the skin. It's very long lasting. It has great coverage and you can also shear it out. I love the flexibility of this foundation. Unfortunately, it's just not for me, but I don't wanna discourage you from trying it just because I have some kind of itchiness going on with my skin. On a brighter note, something that absolutely works for me is what is on my eyes today. This is the VIP Expert Palette in number one Paris by Light. Now, I purchased this one and then they sent me both. There's a warm and a cool tone version and I wasn't even gonna touch them because I love the imprint that is on all the shades. However, now I have them both and I can just keep them for collector's purposes. This palette is beautiful. I have used it several times and I just love the shades in here. They all perform very, very well. So if you're curious about this and I've, you've seen it in my description box or anything like that, I do really enjoy this. Anywho, I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know if you're picking this up. How did you feel it looked on my skin? And I will see you guys in my next video.
Bye, guys.